That was not bad. I'm gonna play maybe three holes. We'll see how it goes, but um, the sun is going down and I am trying to move up a bigger club on my drive. So you guys know that I've been using my three hybrid to tee off because it goes straight. Keeps me in the fairway, keeps me out of the penalty area. I've cut like 10 strokes off my game, seriously, by keeping it in the fairway. But I've also been practicing on the driving range with my driver and really trying to do the same thing, just stay inside my shoelaces. And I'm out on the course, playing the back nine, and I'm on hole 14, and I figure, well, why don't I record a few holes with you all, see if uh, I can keep it in the fairway, and also share, maybe, some of the new swing thoughts that I have that are related to my driver and also my long irons. So here's what I've been learning. And you guys may already know this, but I didn't know this. The putter is great. Put the ball in the hole, right? When you move further away, you have your wedges. And your wedges, I think they're called your scoring irons. I don't know, I think so. But the idea is, is that these wedges, the wedges that I have are from Costco. They're the lob wedge, sand wedge, and a gap wedge. And I also have a pitching wedge. And those wedges are my scoring irons and I can hit them really well. I hit them, they go where I think the ball is going to go. And I also am pretty clear on how far they're going to go. So the wedges, the scoring wedges, the scoring irons are a really powerful, they're very powerful clubs to have um, when you're up close. Now when I'm a hundred yards away or more, then I have to get into my nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, right? So my nine and my eight, um, I kind of group those together with my pitching wedge. So my pitching wedge, my nine and my eight are my clubs that I like to use between 100 and 125, 135 yards. And so those actually go pretty straight too. I'm really confident with them. You saw in another video, I played um, nine holes with my eight iron and it was fun. It was great. It went straight. I could count on the distance and it was fantastic. Let me show you what we're up against here. So I, I teed off on 14 and uh, I used my driving, my driver. And look at this. I've never ever been this close to the hole. And the cool thing about it is that I had that very, that same nice, easy swing that I was telling you guys about. So here we go. I'm gonna come back here a little bit and let's see if this works. So I told you that I have these scoring irons, right? So my pitching wedge and my nine iron and stuff like that, they should be able to get me there. I mean, look at how close this is. This is ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my gap wedge, even though my gap wedge at a full swing could go way too far. I'm gonna use my gap wedge with that nice three quarter swing. So it's here and then through, that's it. Okay, so here's my, my practice swing. That's it. Part of it is this twist of the hips. That's really important to get facing the direction. All right, let's see if I can get up there. There we go. 
around the green, right by the hole. Scoring irons. All right, now, that was shot number two. That was shot number two on a par four. And I am putting for birdie. So let's go up here and we'll take a look. I'll show you what we've got, what we're up against here. Um, that was my gap wedge and I probably, probably went 60 yards. A uh, full gap wedge, you know, a full swing and it's very different, but I wanted it to get up on the green. I wanted it to roll a little bit, but I did not want to, uh, to roll too much or to go over the green. So let's go and take a look what we got here. Okay. There's my ball. There's the pin. Let's count it out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven yards, about seven yards to the pin. Okay. I'm going to come back here and then let's just see what we can do. All right. my birdie putt I didn't leave it short let's see if I can get this one in here there we go so I got a par on a par four I'm really happy with that if you've been following along on my channel you know how far I've come that was a pretty nice easily played hole I'm very happy with that Let's go on to the par three, 15. See if I can keep it up. All right. So let me recap. I have been for about six months now. I have been practicing what I call the three quarter Jimmy with a twist. And what that means is Jimmy Tropicana talks about this swing, which is a very simple swing. Um, it's all, all body rotation, uh, no wrists, no manipulating flipping wrists or anything like that. It's really literally turn back, wave at the camera, turn forward, end with your hips facing the target. And as you've seen, that swing has really helped me to control where my ball is going. Now, you lose a bunch of distance, but I gotta tell you, I gotta be totally honest, you don't lose distance. The reason is because that swing puts the club face on the ball perfectly, and you end up getting a much better strike and longer distance anyways. So, I only go three quarters of the way back, get that nice shoulder turn, but if I go even more, I'm in trouble. That's when my body starts to spin out of control. So I call it a three quarter jimmy, meaning I go back three quarters with a body swing, keeping my arms tucked into my body and not manipulating my wrists or doing anything really weird with them. Three quarter jimmy. And then I say with a twist. I have to add the twist in my specific swing because I need my hips to be facing forward at the end and that is that's the problem if I don't do a three-quarter Jimmy with a twist what I end up with is my I end up with my hips not turning going to actually get this ball where I want it to be. They need to be 
three quarter. See the shoulders are turned, right? Body swing with a twist. Okay, so it's a three quarter jimmy with a twist. All right now, get my distance correct. Got my aim correct. And all I'm gonna do is a three quarter jimmy with a twist, just like this. Go, you gotta go. Oh, I'm in the sand. Not bad though, I'm going straight. I'm safe in the sand, safe in the sand. You're not afraid of bunkers, you're always safe in the sand. So, uh, probably could have taken a little bit more club there. What I did is I took my six iron and I didn't actually measure anything. <laughs> I just kind of eyeballed it. This is a great hole. I love this hole. It's a par three. There's a big oak tree right in front on the right. And then there's a big sand trap on the left. If you don't get over the oak tree and the sand trap, then they love to eat you up. As you can see, my ball ended up in the, the sand here. Now, I'm happy about that because I'm not down here in the woods, which is where most people end up when they try and hit the ball too hard. I'm safe in the sand. Uh, it's a pretty nasty bunker, but if you're not afraid of the sand, it's not bad. Notice it's a blue flag and that means the flag is in the back. So I have a lot of green to work with and I can take a nice big swing and get that thing up on the green. Um, according to the rules of Jimmy Tropicana strategy golf, all I wanna do is actually get on the green so that I'm putting. I don't actually need to make a great swing and end up in the hole though I would like that see there's the flag nice and far away I'm gonna take my sand wedge uh, and we'll give it a nice big swing all right let's see what it looks like here's my ball let's go back here so you can see what's gonna happen all right there's my ball Hopefully I'm not going to be in the way. Here's the ball. The flag is over there. Big lots of green right here. I know if I swing this way, it'll flip out to the right. So I'm going to actually aim a little bit to the left. Okay. Open my face. And we're going to just go slap the sand. Try and get out. Okay, you ready? All right, we're out. So, let's take a look at what happened here. I ended up on the green, right there. I take my putter, right here, and let's go take a look. I'm pretty happy with that sand shot. Um, here's the tee, I mean the pin, and let's see what we can do here. Okay, I'm gonna leave the flag in. Bad, another bogey. Actually, the other one was a par, 
So this is a bogey. All right, four and four. Four and four is 16. Um, if you get a five on every hole, on an 18 hole course, you got a 90, okay? If you get a four on every hole, on an 18 hole course, then you have four times eight is 32. Four times one is four, five, six, seven. You have 72. So if you get a four on every hole, then you're even par. Wow, I didn't know that. If you get a five on every hole, bogey golf, you are at uh, 90. And in order to break 90, you need to get five on every hole and then uh, maybe a par somewhere along the line. Then you'll end up with, you'll break 90. And actually that has been what I've been focusing on, getting to a place where I can confidently uh, break 90. All right, here we go. Here's our last hole we're gonna play together. This is hole number 15. That was 14 that we, we just had, okay? This is hole number 15. This is a long, uh, narrow drive, and then it dog legs to the right. So the key with this one is to just keep it in the fairway so that you have a chance to get it get it down to the, to the thing. So I'm gonna aim down the fairway, okay? And then when I swing, notice I, I line up a little bit with the toe uh, behind. And the reason is because when I come back here with the three quarter jimmy, right? And I come forward, I want this coming from the inside out and then I gotta get the twist, okay? So let's just see what happens. little bit of a slice that might not be might not be bad um, might also not be good we're gonna go find it all right let's see if I can keep up my fours okay so this is a par four and it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see if I can maintain my streak of fours okay this is uh hole number 15 par four very straight shot looks like uh we got someone on a cart maybe he hit his ball into my fairway maybe i hit him with my ball and he's gonna come over here and fight with me no it looks like he's looking for a ball Okay, well, I know I've got a yellow Titleist, so let's go up there and see if we can find it, and if we can find it, if we can keep it moving towards the hole. That's my big question. Looks like he, he passed us and he's back over on his other fairway, so maybe I'm okay. Uh, I think I ended up in the trees. If I got lucky, 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 the trees kicked it out sometimes that happens sometimes the trees will kick it out into the fairway and it actually kind of looks like it did it's like there might be a ball up here perfect oh uh, yeah I'll take it that is great so here's my my tee shot I didn't make it around the corner but that's not the worst thing in the world because I've actually got a nice shot here and I'm just gonna aim at these these bunch of trees right here and sort of let it fall down into that into that gully there all right I'm gonna take some nice I don't think I'm getting there and I'm not gonna get there in two anyways so let's take a club that I feel good about that I think is going to give me that 
nice fade. All right, here we go. There we go. Fade on over. Good. That was really nice. If you guys notice, what I'm doing is I am taking a really easy three-quarter swing. And, you know, I'm not worried about the ball going 300 yards. I really don't care. If it's within 10 yards of what I think my club can do, that's, that's all that matters. My clubs don't have to go as far as your clubs. I don't even care. As long as my clubs go the distance that I think they're going to go, then I can play golf. Now, maybe you can hit your driver 300 yards and you're going to have a shorter approach shot than me. I, it honestly doesn't matter to me. If my driver goes 200 yards, I'm so happy. 200, 220 out there, it's rolling along the fairway. I got a nice second shot to get on or close to the green. And then I got a chip and a putt for par. Or maybe a, I get lucky and it rolls on the green and I got a putt for a birdie. Man, I'm the happiest guy in the world. But let me show you what happened here. So I told you I had a pretty bad tee shot. It hit the trees. It bumped itself out into the fairway. So no penalties for me. No penalty shots. I didn't have to take a stroke. Still playing the same ball. I was on the fairway. And then my second shot, I knew I wasn't going to get here onto the green. So, and there were trees in the way. I just needed a little punch shot that was going to roll the ball on up here to the green. So, you can see my ball there. And... The flag is a red flag. That means that the flag is at the front of the green. Okay. And my shot now is another one of those 60 yard gap wedges. Why, why do I use a gap wedge? Well, I could use my sand wedge. And if I used my sand wedge to go 60 yards, I'd have to take, you know, a full swing and I just don't want to do that I want to take a nice three-quarter Jimmy with a twist that's my swing right there okay it's a three-quarter Jimmy with a twist that should get me on the green and putting this is shot number three right and I'm trying to keep my four shot streak so try and get it on the green give me a chance to putt and here we go. Go get up there. Look at that. It's a really nice, easy swing. If you guys saw that, I did not swing out of my shoes. And let's go show you where it ended up. I have a chance to putt for par. With all of the bad start, I'm still putting for par. And that's the lesson I wanna share with you guys today, is that you might hit a bad tee shot. That's okay. You know, for the most part, if you are not getting a penalty, you're in a good spot. Then your second shot, that's the important one, okay? You take your second shot, get yourself close to the green, and then your third shot is a chip, and your fourth shot is a putt, okay? So if you can get here where you are a chip and a putt away, so this is running downhill. If I go too far, I'm gonna go way past the hole, okay? But this is pretty flat. So it goes here, starts to run down there. I need to stop the ball somewhere around here. All right, second thing is, which way is it leaning, right or left? You know, I mean, it feels pretty flat right there. Maybe a little bit this side here. Pretty 
black also. Maybe a little bit this way. It's a weird one. I'm gonna go straight at the hole, let it die a little bit early. Okay? So this is for my four streak. And we keep it going. Four streak. Keep it going. Oh! Uh-oh, see? I told you. If I didn't get it right, it was gonna roll down. Let's see if I can show you how far it went. Yeah. So that was for my four. I almost had it. Let's make sure I get my five, okay? Make sure I get my five. There we go. Okay, guys. So you saw it. You saw it live. I got a four, a four, and a five. Am I happy with that? Hell yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the golf and subscribe to my channel and make some comments. I love the comments. I answer every one of them. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Give me some tips. I'll try them all out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.